Right on, I tell you, oh dear champs. Now I get sent a lot of laptops, as you can imagine. And I've got to tell you now, I don't even know what this is. I know it's a UX A4002Z. And that's the thing, I went away for a little bit of a holiday last week and yeah, I can go through my emails and figure out what this is. And you know, I mostly review laptops, so you know, sometimes you just sort of forget what you got. But anyway, this is gonna be interesting. The surprise laptop, forgot what they sent me there. Well, you know, it's a Zeus. So we are in this search of incredible Zeus. And what do we have here? Doesn't look like a gaming laptop, that's for sure. I wonder if you could have guessed by the model number there. Obviously, this is the power. It seems very premium. Whatever it is, the packaging is very premium. She's tight, just how we like them, right? All right, so 180 watt power. Wow, that definitely will give you a hint of what sort of laptop this is. But I've got to say power brick it looks amazing this power brick actually they've put a lot of work into just the power brick well done 180 watts and very small no usb-c or anything like that obviously 180 watts uh, but yeah there's a barrel connector oh 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 there we go pen yes now i know what it is but we'll keep you in suspension anyway so we know these pens very well they work well one thing here, look at that, Zen book. We know it's a Zen book, right? Oh, look at that, what is this? That's a case. I thought it was a mouse pad for a sec, well, how thin it was, but this is actually a case, and this looks so good, I'll actually unwrap it. I mean, if you're gonna rock this thing, I think everybody's gonna know what you got in there, right? A Zen book, textured on this side, and just a nice sleeve, so I think that's very thin, so it's gonna be a thin laptop, right? Nice that they do this. Azus, they always give you something extra, don't they, Azus? And here we go. The Zen book and, as you can see there, the new logo. The new Azus logo, which I really do dig. Hey, look at that. See that? You open the box. Oop. There you go. And it lifts the laptop for you. It says, Wolf. Here we go, baby. Zenbook plus the environment. Okay. What else do we have? This is all just lit. What is this stuff? Like seriously. Um, oh, something extra in there. See, it's just give you all this extra stuff. Okay, so this is sits it up higher. Makes the laptop sit up higher. More ergonomic, better airflow, I guess. Ergo lift stand, see? Asus, they give you everything. And as I've said many times, Asus put sort of concepts into production like no other company. And they give you all this extra stuff and it usually doesn't cost any extra. Now, fingerprinty. Hmm, okay, it's gonna be fingerprinty, uh, this finish, but the machining is excellent. That logo there, wow. That's a nice logo there. That's really well done, quality there. Machining, the circular machining there. You gotta see it to believe it, it's really nice. And yes, the Zenbook, the two screen laptop, which my friend, Dodgy Dave, the donut eater, he loves this laptop and these things are killer. So I've got to tell you now, I'm actually blown away by the specs of this laptop. It is a 14 inch Ultrabook. It has a 12700H. Yes, 12700H and an RTX 3050 Ti. Wolf, you know, you got the OLED touch right here, dual screens, of course. I was expecting Ultrabook parts in this, like a 1260p or even one of the quad-core Ultrabook parts. Man, I was not expecting a 12700H, you know. This is a 14-inch Ultrabook, you know. I was not expecting a 12700H and, a, you know, a discrete graphics card, RTX 3050, like 3050 Ti, no less, in this sort of package. Wow, that is just blown me away. I was expecting Zenbook, you know, Ultrabook sort of parts there. Of course, 120 hertz OLED here, Wolf, 2.8K. Of course, I showed you before in the unboxing pen. So you've got the dual screen, you have the pen support as well. Of course, touch, OLED, doesn't get any better than OLED. It's actually Intel Evo certified, which is weird because I usually only see that with Ultrabooks. 
and it is an ultra book but it's got a 12700h you can get a 12900h yes you can get that an i9 on this as well it's supposed to do 85 watts on that cpu which will be really good dual thunderbolt so i'm going to do a gaming review of this should be good with 120 hertz display and thunderbolt i'll be able to hook up you know an eGPU and we'll test the 3050 ti how that performs in there 76 watt hour battery so yeah good battery life 1.7 kilo 17.9 millimeters dolby atmos dolby vision now as i said i didn't know what this was you know i sort of forgot and even though when it twigged what this actually was i was thinking ultrabook so it's a zenbook pro i was not expecting this i was blown away by the specs in an ultrabook so i cannot wait to hook into this thing here yeah it looks like an amazing package there and i was not expecting it it is not very often i'm surprised and this just when i saw the specs i'm just like what this is supposed to be an ultrabook yeah that's just mind-blowing actually so anyway stay tuned for my full review with this gaming review especially you know you can have an ultrabook with gaming wolf that's what i'm talking about I'll catch you in the next one guys tally ho